Hi guys, my name is Prince Sethi and today we are going to learn if, else if, nested if and message block concepts in VBA. If is just like uh, to take decisions. Like uh, if I have to do some certain tasks, so like I do have a specific condition for the same. Like if this condition is met, then I need to do this thing. Otherwise, do this thing like this way. Fine. I think you might have uh, learned if functions in functions over there. So the it uh, in VBA it has the same kinds of concepts. Okay. So I'm just taking example just to let you know means uh, what if and else decision uh, or loop or statements do over here. Like I do have uh, dummy data over here. Okay. This is small dummy data. I want. Uh, okay. Just taking a, a simple example like I'm um, applying validation over here like I want um, 1 or oh, 0 or oh, 0 fine so I want if I have chosen 1 if g3 dot value is equals to 1 then I want this range would become the font of this range would become red otherwise remain as it is fine simple if concept so let's see how it can be done so I'm reaching uh, at VB editor pressing alt F11 inserting module over here so taking simple uh, if statement sub simple if so I'm saying like if this value this value is of integer type okay, fine so I'm taking a variable dim i as integer and I'm saying and I'm putting this value this value this value g3 value so range g3 dot value in i and I'm checking if i is equals to 1 then what needs to be done then I want a dot current reason current reason mean to say this way means the entire range okay so if i is equals to 1 then range a 1 dot current reason dot font dot bold is equals to true mean to say i have to <coughs> make them bold and if okay so <coughs> whatever apart from 1 then it will not do anything over there but if it's a 1 then it will do it as a bold like if we'll just execute this command this uh, this procedure so let's see as of now it's one over there so I'm making it zero so it will do nothing like oh, sorry spelling mistake so I'll just change this thing okay fine so if I'll just execute this nothing has happened fine but if I'll just make them one so let's see so one match and this become bold fine so same way I can make it bold I can change the font color I can make change the size or whatever I want to do I can just mention over there like font dot uh, name is equals to times new roman or whatever or you can change the color as well like uh, okay I'm just increasing its size sorry one dot color index is equals to five like whatever <coughs> so let's see one is already there so if you see bold done times new roman and colorful same way fine and this was simple if now i'm taking if and else mean to say if this condition is met then do this thing otherwise do uh, some other thing like if i'm saying if this is one then do this thing else uh, okay so else do if it's not one then 
make bold false font name might be Arial color index would be 3 whatever so simply one I'm just changing the name let's see so as of now one so no impact would be there fine but in case I'll do zero over here so let's see coming on to else portion see boldness gone become Arial and color index becomes 3 so I hope you have understand this thing I am taking one more example this was if the first one is simple if second one is if and else I am taking one more for nested else if ok so mean to say like I do have few condition over here like I am taking red uh, okay so red green orange and blue fine <coughs> so, yeah. so mean to say I have to check certain conditions so if it's a red then make it red if it's a green then make it green orange and blue whatsoever fine so if I'm saying like I have to check this value so this would be Z6 so I'm saying z6 and it would be now of string type okay so i'm saying so if i is equals to red so deleting this thing okay so i'm saying if i is equals to red then what needs to be do then then we want like we want its cell styles become asn2 so <coughs> making it same as it is <coughs> so i want if i is equal to red then range a1 dot current reason dot style would be is equals to ascent to like uh, it would be if you want you can see it over here a double c e n t 2 a double c e n t 2 fine so else now i have to check other conditions so mean to say not only else it would be else if so i'm saying if i is equals to green then what needs to be done then my cell style would become ascent 3 so everything remains same over here well only changes ascent 2 sorry ascent 3 in place of ascent 2 so i'm making it ascent 3 else again so if it's a uh, orange so if it's no uh, orange my third color would be orange so if it would be orange orange then it will become which style uh, it would be of six style so it would be so it would be ascent six so it would become ascent six and the last one is blue sorry the last one is blue so i think it would be ascent five So if it's a blue, then a set five. Fine. So if else if else if else if or if, or if you want to put again else, if nothing is been uh, executed, it's not related to all these four things. Fine. So then go to else uh, else position. So otherwise you can make it and if or whatever or you can mention this thing else mm, cell style current reason would become two three four five or whatever so whatever apart from that then become it's four fine so it's up to you so let's see <coughs> like i have pressed red 
so let's see so if I'm executing this it's met with red see it's getting red and that's it so same way if I'll just select green over there see so become green but apart from that uh, if I have chosen nothing over here so it will make it SN4 and but apart from that I can also mention this thing first of all my current reason would become none I means no color would be over there dot color index would be XL none like this way so let's see now you can see clear format dot clear format so I'm stopping and beginning so like this way fine so this was uh, nested else if so I'm taking one more example for nested if but prior to that we'll take uh, one more concept like the message box concept what is message box and how we can execute in, in if uh, loop or how we can use it in other statements so <coughs> taking one more example for message box so like subject message message is what like I have to show a specific message on uh, uh, in some circumstances so let's see first of all what is message box so for that we have a simple statement called msg box message box whatever you want to write like hi dear how are you Fine. <coughs> so if I'll just execute this command this statement see this is the message which I have mentioned over there by default this is title if you have mentioned something then it will be display accordingly if you haven't mentioned that by default it will take it as a Microsoft Excel and one button would be there by the name of OK nothing else if you haven't mentioned anything so let's play uh, this message box a bit more so like this is my prompt or this is my message that I want to show it if you just press comma over there then see over there they these are the statements I mean like uh, uh, what is this message showing it to you whether it's a critical condition whether you want to show it any buttons over there or if you want to show it as a information you want to show it as a warning or whatever like uh, if I just uh, want to let you know that this is a information so I just pick this information and if you want any title so title would be like uh, mm, Prince City whatever so let's see so this is a message this is an information symbol this is my title and by default OK button fine so same way like you want two information plus you want I have want two button yes or no like this way so let's see just showing it to you so information yes and no two buttons so it's the same way yes it could be yes no it could be cancel retry it could be save or whatever the buttons you want to give it fine so I hope you have understood uh, the message box concept okay so let's take take, take example how this could be useful over here like I'm taking a uh, nested if example uh, making it uh, as it is so I want first of all a message would be displayed on my screen uh, which will ask to me whether you want to color your data or not so two buttons should have to be there yes or no if I will press yes then it will check according to this condition I have pressed yes and after that which is the uh, condition is been applicable like I have pressed orange over here then it will make it orange and if I'll just press no button so this would not jump on this condition straightforward it will show me that uh, you have pressed no button so no condition will be applied or something like that so let's see how it can be possible so first of all subject uh, nested if 
fine so uh, first of all I just want to show my message box so like I'm pressing so in message box whether I'll press yes or no so yes or no would be a string value so I'm taking a variable for string as well x as string so message box you can take this as a reply rep rep so stand for reply whatever I would select uh, in my message box so like message box uh, my question would be uh, here do you want to color your data so I want information or whatever so I'll just press yes or no okay uh, message box be a uh, question reply please whatever you want to show it so if I'll just show you this thing so simple yes or no fine but I want if I'll press yes then yes will be captured if I'll press no then it will be captured so mean to say I have to put message box value in a specific uh, variable like I have taken rep for the same so I have to mention like this way whatever the this would be my source and I am just putting into my variable called rep so if it's been okay so I have to make it in parentheses so whatever the come it will go into rep so as of now I'm saying if rep is equals to VBS VBS mean to say I have pressed yes button so then what needs to be done if I have pressed yes button so I want uh, <coughs> this condition you know this loops will be executed so uh, it if you want you can just make it copy and paste it over there or if you want you can make you can call this uh, this procedure like call simple if three so if you haven't tried uh, this code prior then you need to type this thing fine so else <coughs> else I'm saying message box should be up here which shows me dear you have pressed no button so I will I will not apply any color fine whatsoever and and if let's see fine so if I'll just execute this command like message box yes or no so I press no button so straightforward it will reach over there and message me that I have pressed no button so no color will apply so like if I'll just select yes and after that I have chosen orange color so then it will make it as an orange See, orange would be applied same way fine so nested if mean to say if inside if so this contain ifs and this is upper if fine so this is nested if so I hope you have enjoyed this video and uh, learned this concept thank you so much for watching have a nice day